Welcome to What She Said. What's going on, guys? Well, I'll How tell you, you what's going on. Our first ever Periscope, and you are the, you're the subject. You're the victim. You are it. I am the future. You, you are, are the future. future. This is so cool. Uh, 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 Cassandra is following us. I can see that's already. And she's popped up. So this is good. We have one follower that happens to be our producer that's watching. <laughs> but what's neat about this is you'll be able to see it in 20, like it stays up for 24 hours awesome. before we then transfer it over to our YouTube channel. So this is a whole new way of getting you know, people, like, instead of knocking on doors, yeah, exactly. Tell us about that. That's like the front porch singer. How did that yeah. start? Yeah, well, it started like five years ago when I was kind of in a bit of a rut. Like my, my grandma had passed away oh. and um, I, I just broke up with my, gr- with my girlfriend at the time. Well, that sounds like and a country yeah. song right there. It does. Yeah, totally. Um, and I was sleeping on the floor of my sister's uh, kitchen. Like it was a pretty rough situation and I, my career wasn't really going anywhere. So I wanted to kind of grab control of my of my career, mm-hmm. and the way that I could control it was doing this door to door thing. Because, and what it was, it was um, I went door to door and sang to people on the front porches, and uh, for money. Um, so sort of like a, a Christmas car- caroling, a, like Christmas caroling, but but not at yeah, Christmas. Yeah, pretty much. But I felt like um, I was kind of in control of my destiny, yeah. and um, I could create my own luck because I knew that if I went out for eight hours straight doing this, that you know I would either you know gain a fan or mm-hmm. um, meet somebody that could help me. Um, How many doors or, got slammed in your face? <laughs> a lot, thousands. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Thousands. Oh, that's for sad. sure. I'm not. I'm not like exaggerating. That. But the good stuff. What what good feedback did you get? Um, it, it, there was a lot of good feedback. Like a lot of support. I went to um, a lot of support here in Toronto. Actually, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I went to different cities: Toronto, uh, Burlington, Oakville, Waterloo, Cambridge. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it was it was just a really good re- reception. So. You actually knocked on a door that basically changed everything. Did you take requests? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, so the whole I, the whole idea was like to um, play my own songs, mm-hmm. and then you know some people would film them with their iPhones and uh, post it online. Um, but yeah, I this was way back when I started doing the door to door like five years ago, and I was doing it for about three weeks. And then it was getting, like, I did it in shifts. So I do, like, eight-hour shifts, like a job, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, of going door to door. And so at the end of my shift, I was debating knocking on this one more door. It was dark out on a Friday. And um, I almost didn't go to this door. But I, <laughs> yeah, I know. So I ended up knocking on the door. And the person that answered was a music manager. And I ended up playing to him like one on one, guy on guy, um, singing him my song called Want to Be Loved. So you can imagine how awkward that might well, this be. One, but yeah, um, talk mano, about meant to be. Meant loved. Yeah, yeah, really. So he, yeah, and he. Now, did he think you were legitimately going door to door doing this, or did you think you had found out where he lived and were targeting him? <laughs> no, no, um, no, not at all. He. Th- he bought the whole door to door thing. <laughs> he bought the whole yeah. <laughs> wink wink. No, okay. Yeah. No, no, that's no, that's great. So but what did he say? Did when did you know that he was in the business? Um, he mentioned it like almost right away that he had managed a country artist before and uh, I wasn't actually doing country at the time. I was doing like a pop acoustic thing. Mm-hmm. And um, but he just loved my sound and he loved my my original. He thought it was a cover. Oh really? The song that I played to him and then who did he think you were? Did he say who you played? No, was the no. Cover he, off? he just thought like, <laughs> thought he'd you know, heard it before. I played "Want to Be Loved," and he was like, "Is that a cover song?" And I'm like, "No, that's my own song." And he was impressed by that. That um, intrigued him right away. And then I think it was a month later that we started working together. And then it was, I think, eight months later that we hit the mm-hmm. bill, Billboard charts. Wow, on, that was 2011, on Canadian radio. right? 2011, 2011. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, not only that, I mean, you are you uh, got the Canadian Radio Music Award for Best Mainstream um, 
AC AC artist. What's yeah. AC artist? Adult contemporary. Adult contemporary. Yeah. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. I did not know. It could have been alternative current. It could have been oh. all kinds of. <laughs> it could have been all yeah. kinds of things for AC. <laughs> um, okay, so so this and then you were a Billboard Emerging Artist chart, and you won the mm. Bell Media Emerging Artist Award. So yeah, and things got crazy. So and things, <laughs> yeah, and then the um, bleep got crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So it just like it really shows that just getting yourself out there and pushing the limit and doing things that are different, um, you know, really w- with a positive action comes a positive reaction. I mm-hmm. believe so, that. Yep. Um, with doing that, going out, door, doing the door to door, you know, I would never have um, had the experiences I've had so far in my career without doing that. How so, about this? We just got someone watching us from Turkey. Turkey. Say hi. No way. Yeah. What's yeah. up, Turkey? <laughs> there you go. Isn't that cool? He That's says awesome. Hi. So the, can these people like they, um, they comment? They can send message. Yeah. No um, way. People are saying this is great. I uh, love to listen to you. Um, so I can talk to these people? You can talk you can. to the people it's directly. So cool. I can like give you conversation. messages. You yeah. could have. I can, Cassandra is answering any questions about where they find this later, like our YouTube channel and everything, but um, maybe we should tell them that you can follow Scotty James yeah. on Twitter Absolutely. at Scotty James 360. Where's the 360 around the world, which is yeah, kind of exactly. what we're doing, kind of what we're doing right here. Message me, guys. Message <laughs> you. Um, we'll and, be friends. And you are watching this on What She Said TV via Periscope, our very first Periscope. So, I mean, you said that you were playing more of a country of a pop sound when you started, yep. and now you're described as country pop. Yeah. So, how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like I was always kind of meant to be in like country, just with the style of writing. It's, Mm -hmm. it's an acoustic guitar. Storytelling. Acoustic driven, um, music and uh, songwriting style. And I've always been that kind of writer. And in Nashville, like I've been in Nashville quite a few times. Um, it's always just like two writers in a room with, with acoustic guitars and it's really down to earth and. Um, you focus on the lyric and you focus on on the melody and, the, you know, the things that really matter, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, I've always been an artist that uh, does that. So it just it was a really natural transition. Mm-hmm. What comes me. first for you, the lyrics or the or the melody? Um, it could be either. It could be either. Basically, like you get in a room with a writer and I co-write, by the way, mm-hmm. with other, other people. And um, whatever, you just kind of jam it out and and talk about your relationships and yeah. does the and writing come out of you more when you're in Nashville? Cause that just seems like the hotbed of writing. Um, I've had great writing sessions in Toronto and I've had mm-hmm. great writing sessions in Nashville. Um, I, I don't, I mean, there's definitely more, there's more writers down in Nashville. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's like a lifestyle in Nashville. Mm-hmm. It's a it? culture. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool to be a part of that. And, um, you know, like the music down there is is crazy. It like is. every everywhere you go, it's it's music. Your waiter like. can sing to you. The bus driver can sing <laughs> to yeah. everybody. Really? Oh my gosh! I haven't I been love to Nashville yet. <gasps> we should take the show really to Nashville. Cool. Yeah, we yeah. should take the show to Nashville. Well, maybe Scotty can organize that. Yeah. And get us Just do trip. like a live on location. We'll in periscope Nashville. the whole trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I would be down. So streets, um, an mm-hmm. aptly named album, I would think, as you you know literally the door came, to door. The door, yeah. to door yeah. thing. I got that. I I, I got that. So um, so the first single off streets it is wannabe was wannabe loved. Was that right? No, no that that, the, that was, that was the, your first single yeah, back then. Off the first EP. So what's yeah. on this album? What what are we what will we be hearing? So Toes is the first single. Toes is well. That's what we, we were listening to yeah. when we yeah. intro. Right? And Streets is one of the songs on, on the album. Okay. So your so. your this album is being described as reminiscent of early Rascal Flats meets Ooh. Keith Urban with a touch of Taylor Swift. I love all those guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. That's, uh, so would you agree with that? Or do, do those kind of comparisons sort of unnerve you? How do they make you feel when you see that? Um doesn't unnerve me no i mean it's it's a good thing to be compared to them for yeah, sure I um think, yeah. i uh i love those artists and you know of course i am scotty james i am myself and mm-hmm. um i have touches of all three of those mm-hmm. um which i listen to on a regular basis and naturally you know you you're influenced by it mm-hmm. so 
So um, it, I, I'm sure this is a rude question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. In the year <laughs> you spent knocking on the doors, do you, do you know exactly how much money you made? Um, it was like, it was about three to five hundred per day. Hmm. Per day? Approximately. That's, That's amazing. Really good. That's Which a lot of doors. It, it's, yeah, I think I knocked on like a hundred to no, 150 to 200 doors that's per day. That's really great. So, that's yeah. I mean, that's a serious living. That's more than we're making here. I know. Sharon, <laughs> you, you can sing. <laughs> I can only play the flute, so I don't you think you can knock on the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the well, the uh, that's the other benefit of it was um, I didn't have to work a job. I just got to do that, and um, it that's allowed awesome. it allowed me to focus just on pursuing my dream. So despite so, the fact that thousands of people slam the door in your face, you, you yeah. were making a living doing something that was great and it's yeah. long, and basically launched your career. Yeah, and I've had times where I cried on the curb. <laughs> you know, like, it was rough. That sounds like, like a song, Crying on, crying the, on curb. the Curb. I can, totally, well, it's a yeah. country song waiting to be written. Uh, but, but you got to keep going. And I found that, like, after you you overcome that rejection that's when oh, things geez, start I thought happening you were unbuttoning your shirt he's buttoning yeah, it I was, for I was sorry all those <laughs> yeah 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 okay not that kind un- of show here oh, <laughs> what that's she said funny to me. <laughs> yeah you're watching what she said on youtube so now tell us about the song that you're going to be uh performing and singing for us here live in yeah. studio yeah so toes um do you guys know johnny reed yes oh yeah, yeah. So I happened to be staying at Johnny Reed's house in Nashville on a writing trip. And I was there because the writer that I was working with um, wrote a song for for Johnny Reed called Baby, I Know It. Right. And um, so I was staying there. He was he my friend was house sitting for for Johnny and uh, because Johnny was going to host the Junos at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at that. So he was about yeah. to leave. So I spent we, we we were there for one night with Johnny, and um, before he left, he told us, you know, what I do for inspiration is um, I'll sit and watch <clears throat> I'll sit and watch romantic movies. Aww. So basically, um, he watches chick flicks. What we I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did the next day was. Um, we watched like all day long. We watched Ra- Rachel McAdams movies. Oh <laughs> yeah, and then um, and then we we wrote the song Toes like soon after. So it's nice you're and watching a Canadian in yeah. Rachel McAdams. Yes, I, like I that. love her. Yeah, we I can't too. marry her though. Is she married? I don't know. I don't. I don't <laughs> think she's she married. takes the subway. You can quite frequently see her on the subway around I think, here. I think she's quite a bit older than me though. She's what? True Detective. True yeah, she's yeah. on True Detective. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh, yeah. She's dating Taylor Kitsch. Yes. Yeah. You. Uh, I yeah. missed my chance, guys. Yeah, but you know, there's similarities between you're a good-looking guy. Anyway, Thank I'm you. getting distracted. I know. But, I was um, just watching. We got a message from the Kurdistan region of northern Iraq. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Country music. Anyway, finish your story. So you, Johnny um, Reed, and the yeah, and then uh, we we started the song Toes after that day of chick flick <laughs> <laughs> marathoning. So really, um, it's for Rachel McAdams, really, kind of. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then, um, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel McAdams. Somebody a, tweet Rachel McAdams and tell her to yeah, start tune watching. in. Okay. Yeah, Rachel, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. It's serious. Um, so what was I going to say? Um, so then we took the song. We didn't finish it. We took the song into another writing session with a guy named James Dean Hicks. And he wrote a number one song for, or I think a couple number one songs for Blake Shelton. You guys know Blake Shelton? Yeah, yeah. 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 So vaguely. Yeah, vaguely. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we finished off the song, and that's how it happened. It well, was kind of a, every song has its own story. Absolutely. Well, let's mm-hmm. hear it. We'd love to hear it. Cool. And this is your front porch serenade. All right. Here, <laughs> here we go. Out tapping on your bedroom window It's me and it's up to you Girl, where you wanna go So put on some clothes Cause it's cold outside The sun's setting slow Let's take it for a ride And tonight Let me 
sweep you off your toes If you wanna go, girl I can be a late night window Romeo Don't you know I'll do anything you want me to So tell me that you feel it Cause I want you to come take my hand I can fly you off to Neverland Go with me, just trust me And you'll see I'll never let you go If you let me sweep you off your toes When we're on our way up Baby, don't look down All the stars know we're coming That's why they're all out And we gotta fly, baby, just say yes The man on the moon Got a table set for two And tonight Let me sweep you off your toes If you wanna go, girl I can be a late night window Romeo, don't you know I'll do anything you want me to So tell me that you feel it Cause I want you to come take my hand I can fly you off to Neverland Go with me, just trust me And you'll see I'll never let you go If you let me sweep you off your toes If you let me sweep you off your toes Let me sweep you off your toes If you wanna go, girl I can be your late night window let me sweep you off your toes If you wanna go, girl I can be a late night window Romeo, don't you know I'll do anything you want me to So tell me that you feel it Cause I want you to Come take my hand I can fly you off to Neverland Go with me Just trust me And you'll see I'll never let you go let me sweep you off your toes Rap tap tapping on your bedroom window Oh, wow. lovely. That was one. And Rachel McAdams, uh, we think that was specifically for you. If you hear someone rap tap tapping on your bedroom window, don't call the police. We can <laughs> vouch for him. Scotty it's James. It's not in a creepy really way, I promise. We should tweet this thing to her after. Uh, yeah, we will. You um, never know. Yes, Amazing. Do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, do seriously. It. Um, Rachel. And, and the periscope went really well, except when I tried to double tap to send a heart and I actually flipped the camera. I, we saw Kate's face. And we saw Kate. <laughs> <laughs> so I flipped it straight back. Sorry about that. It uh, oh, was that our was first so one. But this is, uh, people are commenting. It's uh, all from all over the They're all over the it. world. It's, all it's all good things, I hope. All amazing. amazing. Lots of applauding. Yep. Sounds hands. great. Sounds yep. great. Good. Is, sounds good. So terrific. So tell, tell people while you're out here how they can get your album. Yeah, so the album itself isn't released till September. Okay, but you've done or a three-part. actually, part, no, October. A, October, but there's a three-part release. And, and yes. Haven't all those segments yes. been released? So explain so that. So there's a three-song EP that we ah. released just for the summer. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's three songs. We released that on June 24th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so you can grab that on iTunes um, or look at my website for my YouTube videos, um, scottyjamesmusic.com. Where's the road taking you this summer? Um, I'm going to be doing uh, radio touring. Mm -hmm. So no shows, really just interviews and radio radio And Periscope. Touring. And Periscope, well, yeah. Well, will be as much fun as this, right, Scotty? Are you guys like the only ones doing this? Because that would be pretty cool. So far. Like, the, the, they say the, you always radio remember station. your first. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> sure. Well, um, my oh my. <laughs> Uh, people are saying we can't wait. Uh, best wishes. Like, where can they find you? So, you know, awesome. Again, yes. So go, your website again is go to scottyjamesmusic.com or add me on Facebook, um, yeah. Scotty James Music. And Twitter is Twitter is Scotty James three sixty. And this will be up for twenty four hours, and then it will be going to our YouTube channel, yes. which is what she said one sixty seven. Assuming I have done all the settings correctly, and don't freak we out hope. everyone by showing my. 
aging face on such a great angle no. again. But no matter you what, look great. you'll come visit us again, will you not? Of course. We'd love yeah. that. Uh, oh, sh- I meant to bring you shortbread, but because <gasps> my family has a shortbread company. Oh my God, we love but you. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back and bring promise? you some shortbread. Yes, Absolutely. I promise. Okay. I do. Um, but thanks so much, guys, for having me. You guys are awesome. Our pleasure. And when we come back, oh, we're going to check in with the movies, uh, movie critic and Brody, but that, she won't be on Periscope. So we're going to nope. say goodbye from uh, Periscope. We'll have to goodbye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.